everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today and i am bringing to you my debt tracker because whew, money balances are going down and i'm this is like one of my favorite videos to film i love seeing the changes in my balances and with every paid off credit card, this baby gets shorter and shorter and I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. This is my one of my favorite ones to film, I just have to say. And before I go any further, hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana. Oh, I like saying hi a lot, don't I? My name is Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over $111,000 in credit card student loan and my car my car loan <laughs> i am trying to pay off my credit cards my car loan and my student loans and i hope you guys stick around and hit that subscribe button so that way you can join my youtube family and if you're a returning subby welcome back and i'm so happy to see you guys again so I kind of pre-filled this out because this does take a little bit for me to focus and do it from smallest to biggest. So that's why I pre-filled this plus the dates too. I put slashes here next to the Navian and both Navians, the sub and unsub because these are not, these are have been deferred and are on a 0% interest rate until September but it might be a little bit longer than that. I have heard that in the pipeline, they might be delaying, like delaying, deferring, <laughs> sorry, deferring the loans from September till the end of the year, which would be December 31st. So this might be a little longer. I don't know yet. I haven't heard anything, but I have heard I mean, I haven't heard anything from Navient, but I have heard that that the president is planning some that planning to do that. So we'll see. But for the time being, we're gonna be doing my balances. I can't wait. So for Neiman Marcus, which is my smallest loan, smallest loan that I owe on right now because I am doing the Dave Ramsey plan, smallest to biggest debt. So let's see. For Neiman Marcus, I still owe $685.34, which is like a big leap from June, from what was it, the end of June, July, I don't even remember anymore <laughs> since last month debt and I pay a minimum of $25. I'm getting closer and closer to paying this baby off. Right now I have paused my debt snowball because I am trying to save $2,000 because I have a feeling there's going to be a storm mode going to be happening soon. I don't know what it is, but I am trying to save at least $2,000 for that so for the time being I'm only making minimum payments on all my loans so the next one we have is Amazon and Amazon I owe $891.82 and I usually pay between 30 and 32 but I'm gonna put 30 here for the minimum payment and then we have JetBlue JetBlue is right now $992.17 and I always pay $32. And then we have Merrick. Merrick is $1,202.35. And I believe 
it's $42 a month. It always fluctuates. I don't know why, but it does. And Target, which is my last, will be my last credit card. Once I get, once I pay it off, the balance right now is $1,660 and three cents. And last month, this month is $50, so I'm putting 50. Usually fluctuates between 50 and 54, so. And now, mind you, these are all three separate student loans. So this one is from what used to be Chase, then it went to AES, and now it's at Navient. This is 12400 94 dollars and 90 cents and I always pay 149.03 for this which is not humongous but still a lot of money then we have CarMax CarMax right now is Thirteen thousand seven hundred forty four dollars and forty nine cents, and that is three oh seven nineteen a month. Now, CarMax is going down rather quickly. I got this car back in last, not this past April, la the April before then. And it went from, I believe, 16 to 13 within a year, almost two years. Yeah, a year and a half. So this baby's going down rather quickly, and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> so then we have Navient. Now, I haven't, this is deferred, like I said, there's no interest, and I'm not making any payments to that. So right now, my Navient sub is twenty four thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars and seventy five cents it's a lot of money <laughs> the total of this is like more than what i is close to how much i make a year because i do make a low income so navient now navient this this unsub is like double what i make so but I am gonna work on it. So right now it's $53,768.65. That is a lot. <laughs> you can see the bulk of my 100, my over 100K comes for this particular loan. <laughs> Ooh. And the total for this is 110,000, which means I have now below 111, 110,232 dollars and 50 cents. So an improvement I'm very happy with and I can live with this. <laughs> this is, I'm slowly, slowly making um, small, small milestones. Like I'm very close to being under 110K, which is always great. <laughs> I am very excited. I'm going to be very excited once I get under 110K. I will be jumping for joy. It's always a little milestones that keep giving you the boost to keep going because if I just looked at this whole thing and said oh my goodness I have 110k in debt how am I ever gonna get all um this is like how am I ever gonna finish this off it's never gonna be done that's not the mindset you should have when you're paying your debt every little goal matters so once I hit 109k I will definitely be happy I will be, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll treat myself to 
some Starbucks or something. I'm trying to stay away from Starbucks as much as possible, but if I can get under that 110K this month, oh, I'll do something exciting. You know, something small but exciting for myself. So now that we have the balance, we're gonna see how much I put towards my minimum payments, which is gonna be 600. $35.22, which is almost the amount that I have to pay for Neiman Marcus, like $635.22, $685.34. I could take all of that and put it towards that. I'd be almost done with my debt for Neiman Marcus, but hey, it is what it is. I am very excited to see the numbers going down and not up because for the longest time before I started my channel, before I got really serious about paying debt, my numbers would go up, would go up a lot and then go down a little bit and then go back up a lot. So it can be very frustrating, especially when you have such a small shovel like I do, but you know, you got to still keep chug chugging along and always stay positive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to join my YouTube family, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys love this video because I love doing it myself, like I said. And let me know, how are you guys doing on your debt? Are you guys hitting your small milestones? Have you guys paid off a credit card or paid off a loan? Let me know. I like hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.